Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and I would love for you to go down there and click that big red subscribe button and join my YouTube family here. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I know that this collection from Pat McGrath is by no means new um, and I did just check on the website and it is still in stock which is very strange because it did sell out fairly quickly, but I am talking about the Pat McGrath uh, Divine Rose 2 palette. Now I did get the bundle of both the Divine Rose 1 and Divine Rose 2 palette just because I obviously didn't have the Divine Rose um, and I, you know, it was going in and out of stock. So I figured I would get the bundle which retailed for $230. I know, insane, but you do save $10 um, per palette. So usually the palettes retail for $125. So for two palettes, that'd be $250, uh, but I got it for $230 and that was the only thing that I got from the collection. I I did want to get the Divine Rose Lip Trio, like the Divine Rose Gloss Lipstick, and then um, it came with a lip liner as well, um, but unfortunately I did not get my hands on that. It was $80, which is a lot, but you were getting three products, although I did opt out of that one. So I'm going to go into the details about the Divine Rose 2 palette. Now mine came kind of... Um, not broken but like you can tell that it's kind of like falling apart on this side and then also on this side so the packaging kind of fell apart um, but that's okay I, I am going to keep the um, palette in this just because the packaging is just so beautiful but like look at that artwork it's just so stunning oops upside down there so stunning I'm so sorry my dog found her toy and when you open it up this is the packaging. It is so beautiful. I did opt for the ooh, I did opt for the limited edition pink packaging. Um, this is still available, so if, if you are still interested in it, that that it did restock and it is available in the limited edition pink, I believe. If not, then the black. But look how stunning that is. It's already dirty because I got my grubby hands all over it. And then at the bottom, it came with the um, name of all the shades, which is really really nice. This is so beautiful. So this is technically my second, and the Divine Rose is my third Pat McGrath like big palette. Um, so I'm super excited. This is just so beautiful. And then you have the tri, I believe it's called like a trichrome or something like that. I, I'm probably butchering that, but this, this color here. So if I show you the mirror, in the mirror you'll see that it looks more green. Oh, there it goes. So you can see that it's a little bit more green now, and then it'll shift back to pink, which is so cool. So moving on to swatches, these feel so amazing, I can't even begin to describe. These are what all 10 swatch like. They are absolutely stunning. And this is that um, trichrome right here. So as you can see, it goes green, gold, pink, so nice. So the first six are um, kind of like, not they're regular, they're not regular, but you know what I mean, like her kind of normal, um, glittery metallic and matte formulas and then these four here are her kind of special formulas so freaking stunning the pigmentation is just amazing so now that i've kind of gone over price and everything like that i'm going to zoom you guys in and we are going to get started on the eye look so I actually don't have on any face highlight at the moment. I kind of wanted to use this first shade here as my face highlight. I saw another YouTuber, I'm not sure who, um, apply this to the face as a highlight. So I kind of want to give it a try. It's um, definitely more of like a pinky kind of golden-y highlight. So I'm sure it's not going to look too, too great. Obviously it is an eyeshadow, but I just wanted to give it a shot. So that brush was a little too small, so I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill JO2 brush. This is a little bit fluffier, and just kind of dip it in there. So this definitely looks like a stripe of pink on the face, but still really, really nice. I'm gonna just take my powder brush and go over that a little bit. Very, very pretty. Obviously, again, this is not meant to be a highlight, but it is really, really pretty still. Kind of gives you that pink glow. So if you're looking for a pink gold highlight, it's really, really nice. Now moving on to the eyes. I'm going to start off by taking this color into the crease. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear my dog. She's, she's just wandering around. 
Another is, this is a very, very soft pigment. I am just barely tapping my brush into it, and as you can see, there is quite a bit of kick up. So just be mindful of that. I always tap off my brushes, so I don't mind the fallout, um, just because I, I always tap off my brush, but just thought I'd mention it to you guys. These are blending like a dream, of course, like I knew they would. That color is so pretty. Now moving on to a slightly smaller brush, I am going to go in with, there's only two matte shades in this palette, so I'm going to go in with this kind of whoop, deeper one here, and I'm going to put this on the outer corner and kind of shape um, that outer V. Going in with my first initial brush just to blend it all together. And then I feel like every review that I've seen, everyone is talking about this color right here just because it just because it is so different. Um, I mean not necessarily so different like in the beauty industry just for Pat McGrath, but so I, I want to play with it, but I also don't want to be like every other review that's kind of just slapped it on the eye. So I think I'm going to take, well, I have no idea what direction I want to go. I think I'm going to go in with this and try and make like a halo eye, like on the inner and out of corner. Let's just see how this goes. Now this is a shimmer shade, so I don't know how well it will do. I'm just gonna throw this on the inner corner first. And like I said, not really sure where this look is going, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different. And if you wanted more of a, like a metallic, like kind of more vibrant, then obviously you could wet the brush or use your finger. I'm just going in with a brush first and then putting it on the outer corner. Not necessarily covering up that lash shade we put down, but just kind of on the side, just a little bit. And then maybe we'll put that kind of tricolor on the center and a little into the crease. I am getting just a little bit of fallout, so I'm gonna take my powder brush and just sweep over that. All right, and then I'm gonna take my finger and go into the color right here, this beautiful like trichrome color. The texture on this feels so strange. You just barely touch the um, pan and look at that. I mean, it, the shift is just stunning. And then I'm gonna put this right in the center. Oh my goodness. If you guys could see the shift in real life, the camera just doesn't do it justice. I mean, oh, in, in real life, it's just so nice. And I'm going to take this color just past the crease a little bit. Oh, I wish you guys could see the shift on camera. It's just so pretty in real life. I think because um, this kind of outer kind of pink metallic looks so similar to it in person. I think what I want to do is go back in with this um, deep color here and go back into the crease ever so slightly. And then this shade right here is more of a lid topper, like just definitely more of a lid topper. So I'm going to place this on the center. For a little bit more dimension. And again, getting a little bit of fallout. So just going back in with my powder brush. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take this shade here that we used as a highlight, and I'm gonna just pop this on the inner corner. I 
There we go, really open it up there. And then moving on to the lower lash line, I am going to um, take this color, run it all the way across the lower lash line. Bring it pretty low. And then I'm gonna go in with this darker color just on the outer third. Really close to the lash line. And then I think what I wanna do is dampen my brush. And then I'm going to go into this, um, like this color here, and I'm gonna put this on the inner part of the lower lash line. There we go, there is the lower lash line all finished. I'm going to add on some eyeliner and mascara and I will be back for the final look. All right, so here is the finished look with liner and lashes. I really wish that you guys could see the shift of that green color, although I did cover it up with glitter, um, but I really, really love it. It's so sparkly and so different for me in a way. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and give you my thoughts. All right, guys, so what do y'all think? Give me a comment, leave me a comment down below, let me know how you guys feel like this turned out. I used almost every shade in the palette. I used this one for my inner corner, then I used these two right here for my crease. I even used this pink shade, a little bit of this one, and a little bit of this one. Um, so yeah, I just didn't use these three shades right here, and then this one right here. But I do really like the way this came out. Um, this color is so beautiful and I really wish that you guys could see the shift that I see in person. Um, just kind of like looking around depending on the light. It looks green, it looks gold, it looks gray and pink. Um, so in person, it looks amazing. On camera, not so much. <laughs> um, but if you were able to get your hands on this um, and you were one of the lucky few, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, this is Pat McGrath's typical kind of um, formula, I would say. Um, like I said, this is only the second and third Pat McGrath um, Mothership palette, sorry, the bigger palettes uh, that I have, but I do love Pat McGrath. I think it's worth every penny. Again, not every palette is the same, but oh my goodness, I am so glad that I got my hands on this. I have the Divine Rose um, as well with the limited edition pink packaging. So if you guys do want to see a video where I use like both palettes together or one look using one and then one look using the other, please let me know down below. Um, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sorry if this video was a little bit all over the place um i'm still getting my bearings <coughs> excuse me still getting my bearings um with like filming and things like that as far as like you know having covid not that it's really affecting me that much just kind of like you know up here um but anyways please give this video a big thumbs up and please click that subscribe button down below and thank you guys so much for tuning in i really hope you enjoyed this look i definitely got a little bit out of my comfort zone with it as far as like you know me not knowing where i wanted to take this look but i do like the way it came out so thank you guys again so much and until next time bye guys <laughs>